Hey, little moment, friends. Andang here, taking a look at Planet Coaster. This game is currently in alpha, very early alpha. This is actually the first build. And as you can see, we're here on a coaster, and we're going up to the top and getting ready to go through the whole ride here. So let's go ahead and go on in. So while we're riding this ride, for those that don't know, Planet Coaster is being made by Frontier. They are the same studio that actually made Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. And you might be thinking, some of you, that, wait a second, Roller Coaster Tycoon World is a game that's existing and it's in alpha as well and it's going to be coming out sometime later this year. Yes, that is true. That game is actually not being made by Frontier Studios, even though it is still being published by Atari. It's actually gone through three different developers and it's horrible, at least currently in the version of Alpha that it is in. And it's just absolutely terrible. There's so many bugs and different things that are wrong with it. Planet Coaster is the exact opposite of that, it seems. It's Roller Coaster Tycoon being done right. And it's done by the same people who made Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, and this game feels like a true sequel to the original. Now here we are actually making a loop around a terrain formation. There is uh, full terrain formations that will be available in the final game where you'll be able to sculpt the terrain as you please. And uh, it's currently not available in alpha, but that's because that's not exactly what they're wanting to be testing right now. But it will be in a future build, I'm sure. And you can actually fully sculpt terrain around existing things, so you can actually build the train up and around and move it all over the place and no longer are you limited to like just making mounds and things like that you can actually move it around in a 3d space which is super awesome one other thing you might have noticed is the lighting in this is just absolutely amazing here we are overlooking what is soon to be a sunset it's five in the morning and this is the whole park. Part of this was pre-built by the developers, and you just load into this map and it's already there, including that coaster that we just rode, the red one. I actually built this blue coaster, and I've also added in some rides and things that were pirate-themed, so I added in a boat and stuff down on this beach area. And also the Rocktopus, <laughs> which is a rock and roll octopus spinning chair ride. One cool thing about uh, Planet Coaster is that people will actually move around like you would think they would. Uh, notice how they're loading into that ride. They're not just going into one side. They're actually moving around and doing things like that. They will actually queue in uh, spaces. So like, let's say the line doesn't move forward for a while. People will actually wait and forget that they're in line, just like in real life. And then they'll gradually move forward. And they move around in groups of different people where they're actually families, which was kind of in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, but it's taken to a whole nother level in this game, and it's just super, super awesome. Another cool thing is that you can now place uh, signs and things on your actual ride, so you could put all sorts of different kinds of signs. And if we go over to, I think it's wall signs, we can see that there's all kinds of signs that you can place, including different signs for each of the different rides, and you can actually place them however you want, or even place multiple of them. So if we were to put like two more right here, it will do that. And you'll notice it brought up this building editor in the top right, and that's because this whole thing's part of a building, and you can actually, you can't on these, but in other buildings you can actually stretch out beyond the normal space. So now people will really know that that's the ride that that is. Let's speed up time here. People seem to move in slow. So this is actually in the background a building that I created with the building editor. And it was fairly easy to do. There's all sorts of objects, like I placed the swords up there, placed in lights all the different windows, put in some cannons and some just treasure and general piratey things all around to make it look very appropriate. If we actually go in here, you can see that uh, there's these different shops. This is actually a burger shop. 
and you can place it right inside these huge buildings. And so now you're no longer having building just single uh, shops, you're actually building entire shop areas. And so you can have multiple different kinds of shops in a different area. So as you can see here, there's a drink shop, and if we curve over a bit, there's actually restrooms on this side, which is pretty, pretty cool. And there's all these different statues that I just stuck in the back, because I thought they fit pretty well. Okay, so it's now sunrise, and you can see that the lighting in this game is just absolutely breathtakingly gorgeous. And the way that it just glitters on everything, it's just this amazing, amazing sunrise that we have here. Okay, so let's go actually to the front part of the park here. This is actually stuff that they had already. They had these nice designed, uh, fairly utilitarian type buildings, and they put in different signs of things. So there's actually like these huge, huge poster boards of like the actual entertainers of the park, which uh, the entertainer system is not yet in the game, but it looks super awesome. They uh, walk around like here is this. I don't understand this, but there is a like coaster guy, and you can hear him, he's kind of uh, obnoxious, but it's pretty cool, and the entrance to the park is just this awesome path through this uh, hill over there, which is really, really cool. And then I added on this blue coaster that goes over the entrance to the park, so people are actually walking underneath the coaster before they even pay to get into the park, which is pretty cool, I thought. Um, there's also these different kinds of rides, including this weird Ferris wheel where each of these cars will actually move along as the wheel turns, which is kind of crazy. We'll stay here for a second and let's actually speed up time a bit more while they get on so that we can see this coaster in action. And so the focus in this game is actually very much so on the people. They'll animate them in ways that are just amazing. If there's a coaster that goes by, so you know the track's already there, but the actual train goes by of the coaster, people will actually look over and have faces of excitement because they'll be like, wow, I can't believe that that actually just went by. And it's just like in a real park, when a coaster goes by, you will actually look over and see it and you'll look at it and you'll think, man, I want to ride that ride, and that will actually motivate people to go and ride the coaster. They'll go find where it is, which is super awesome. But you can see this is just a little obnoxious. Apparently this actually exists in the real world. I don't know who would ever want to ride that, but you know, I'm sure there's people that would want it, maybe. There's also this awesome magic carpet thing, which is pretty cool. And you can actually ride the rides. And so here we're in the cinematic camera, and it will pan back and forth, watching the ride there. If we go in, we can actually see the perspective of somebody who apparently is just looking at the uh, wall here, but you can actually look around, and we can see this lady having a lot of fun. And it will actually animate them on the ride, because guess what? You can actually watch the people on the ride. And it's super cool. I mean, look at this animation. There's people doing all sorts of different kinds of things. There's varying levels of excitement. People are really, really enjoying this ride, and that person is almost sick. <laughs> and so it's almost like this sim level of animation where there's just these people, all these different people doing different kinds of things all at the same time. And all over the park, people are doing that. And look how fast people are running onto this ride. They are just super, super excited to get on. And what's really cool, I think, is that you can actually watch people around. And guess what? There's the same cameras for that. <laughs> so you can watch people in first person, and it will actually jump up and down, uh, you know, move up and down as the person takes steps, which is pretty cool, and you can watch them from a distance as well. So cool. And it will take you back to where you were before, once you exit and does that for all the rides and everything like that so that you will actually move back to where you were at the start which is really really nice so you can go back to whatever you were doing before. Huge 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 ride this one is. It goes all the way up to the top. Um, that's glitched. 
Okay, that was weird. It is alpha. Reminder about that. Oh, that's because we have the wrong one selected. Here we go. There we go. Screaminator. So as you can see, there's a ton of people on this ride. And this thing is intense. Very much so intense. Right, cinematic camera is not showing us anything right now. Let's see all the people get on. And look how excited they are. And then they put their hands around the bars of this ride. It is so cool. The attention to detail here is just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Beyond anything we've ever seen in a theme park simulator. Very, very cool. So another thing to note is that there's currently no money system in the game right now. That's not too hard to integrate though, so I'm not too worried about that. Alright, and here we go. On the ride. And that person is so excited to be going up apparently. And let's actually... You can actually change time while you're in the simulation, which is crazy to me. So we're just spinning around on this ride as we're moving up this huge, huge distance to the top here. This is so cool. This game has such attention to detail. It is just breathtaking. There is so much detail in this game. I cannot believe it. All right, let's speed up time as they get up to the top here. And then... They're going to drop so fast. So that's cool, and you can actually ride any of the rides, which is something you could not do in Classic Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. <laughs> the classic one of 3. Alright, and uh, there's so many people that come in it's just amazing and there's different uh, widths of paths that you can do now which is super awesome because people actually have to move around they will not walk through each other and they actually cannot walk through each other unless there's just absolutely no other way around in which case they will but you can see there they actually moved around if you rewind the video you could see that and so this group is actually moving pretty direct they're not very intelligent and apparently are moving around but normally they will actually move around each other and there's actually this whole traffic dynamic where they will move at speeds that make sense and it's really really cool here is actually a restroom that I made which is <laughs> a huge 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 restroom and uh, it actually fits in with the rest of the style I made it to where it looks like everything else and I think it works and in the back it's got like some maintenance type stuff and it reminds me kind of of Mirror's Edge and the just clear color visualization there of just this just very absolute color system. And so anyway that's pretty cool that you can actually customize these buildings to an incredible degree. Absolutely incredible degree. And so now there's no longer these individual shops, but these huge, huge areas. And it's so cool. So cool. You can just design these buildings and they'll all integrate. And you can even integrate your coaster into the same building and people will be more likely to go where there's more stuff. And so they'll, uh, when they get off the coaster, they'll actually want to buy stuff because they'll see it right in front of them and then want to go there. And they'll spend more money the more you invest into your buildings. And so you can make just these elaborate, elaborate buildings, and people will actually pay more money for them, which is super cool. Really ingenious idea. And so you can make these nice little uh, complexes, or you can make things very, very simple, like what I did here, where it's literally just these two shops and uh, just a very, very simple building. But it's nicer than the previous shops were before. It just it adds an extra level that's really really cool and there's all sorts of different uh, materials that you can add to your buildings so if we see here currently there's a variety of different types where there's the actual just like plain blue but then there's like piratey themed stuff there's the white panels there's glass and then there's you know stonework 
So quite a big amount of variety also wood buildings as well. And this is just alpha. They're going to add a ton more different types of themes and things like that in the near future, I'm sure. All right, so let's go ahead and catch this coaster while it's going up here, if we can here. <laughs> there we go. Reminder that this is still the first build of Alpha. I mean, look, it's just so much fun to watch people be animated because it's unlike anything else before, and you can see all the way down, and the lighting in this is just amazing. Look at the attention to detail there. All right, so here we are at the top. This coaster is significantly taller than the previous one. I kind of modeled it off of the Steel Eel, which is a, ride, a, co a coaster that is in... Uh, Sea World, and basically it has just these huge, huge hills that go around the park, and it's a very nice and fluid ride that is not too absolute, and so it's nice and smooth, which is something that you could not do in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. You had these preset uh, structures to where, or you know, different uh, pieces to where you really couldn't choose exactly the right angle. You can actually choose the exact degree you want it to, out of 360 degrees if you want, in all the different directions on you know, the various axes. And so the freedom of movement is just amazing. So this is a much faster coaster as you can see, and it actually goes around a lot of the same places where the red coaster went. And it looks like there is a bit of lag on the video capture, but there is not in the game, I assure you. And so, I do take a little bit of tighter turns here towards the end, but uh, it's just this nice smooth coaster, and so you can create these really, really realistic coasters. Or you can go for the classic roller coaster tycoon type stuff and create just some crazy coasters and just have a ton of fun with them as well. And of course you can look all around if you really want to get sick when you're going super fast, but once you slow down it's nice to be able to just look around and we're going to slow down here, coast right in. There we go. You can see people really enjoyed it. And now people are looking around because there's nothing clearly around in this area. So they're trying to find out what they could go to next. And so it's nice that it gives you that visual feedback where it's like, okay, what do we do next? Um, one thing I do want to show is just how intricate this place is. There's actually shops here that are close by that are of the same type of building type and theme of this ride. Where this clear piratey type uh, castle going on here. And if you look, the line actually goes through this building. And then under here... And then not only does it go under the building, but it goes under the coaster, <laughs> which is super awesome. And, you know, comes out down here, where they added in all this other extra detail to make just this nice area that looks like something very similar uh, to an actual theme park. It's amazing the amount of detail that you can put in now. It's just way, way farther than it has ever been. And so, this game feels like a real sequel to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Which is awesome. It's been 10 years, actually over 10 years, depending on if you count the expansions or not, since we've had a Roller Coaster Tycoon game. You may have noticed this is not a Roller Coaster Tycoon game, it's Planet Coaster. But it's made by the same team, and it feels like Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 taken into the current generation where there's just this amazing attention to detail. There's a focus on the individual visitors to your park 
and it animates them as such. There's this entire uh, dynamic where people will move around each other and actually flow in a logical progression like you would in an actual theme park. And it's just really cool. There's this huge new lighting system that adds in all sorts of different things. You can now build way smoother coasters than you could have ever in the past. There's a much better streamlined uh, building design system that works a lot better. There's now integration of your shops into these larger buildings that you can build that look so much more realistic and it's just really, really cool. And there's, you know, the normal rides and everything you already love about Roller Coaster Tycoon in this game. And just to show a few of the rides here, there's currently, I think, 13 different rides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, 13. And they're all pretty cool. Let's actually go ahead and place one. So let's see. Let's actually just do... Because the placement is a little bit different, I want to show how it is. Um, you know what? We'll pick the forge. We'll actually put it back in this corner if we can. Oh, almost had it. There we go. Alright, so it is a bit different. You actually have to place the entrance. And you have this like little checklist. And you can actually put it anywhere you want, all around 360 degrees of this circular ride. On a ride like this, you can't exactly do that because there's these edges here where people can't actually walk, but everywhere else you can. So there's a lot more freedom on placing your actual entrance to the rides. And also you can place exits. So there we go. The path all actually completes itself for you, which is really nice. Then we can add a queue here. And you can actually change the length of how long you want it. So if you want to play it a really long path, you can. You can even add in angle snap to where it will snap to particular angles for you as you can see there or you can turn that off and have complete freeform placement of the path where it'll go over any angle and if we zoom in here we'll actually be able to place this a little bit better part of it's because we have such a long path on this confined little area but you can see you have full range of movement which is really really nice and you can change the length that you actually want to place as we showed before so let's say you want to go up to four we can and then to make this turn we can actually take it down to one even and then let's say we want angle snap it'll actually snap and you can actually change the amount of angle you want so let's say you want like 90 degree angles it'll only do 90 degree angles and so you can do you know a nice switch back on just 90 degree angles and then if you want to you know curve it in more you can so let's actually put it by these other entrances over here and if you notice there's now these awesome signs that you get to place so if we add in the ticket booth ticket booth entrance here and if you press Q, you can actually rotate it completely. And so let's move it closer and have it curve in where the others do here. Or not. Apparently we're just going to put it like that. So let's actually do that. There we go. So now we have our entrance to the ride place. So if we go into... Actually, I think it's under Buildings. Wall Signs. Then this is called the Forge, which I think is somewhere in here. There we go, the Forge. So you have these awesome signs that you can place. And you could even put it like on the ground here if you wanted to, and you could rotate it around to be facing the right way <laughs> if you're really crazy. And you can also just rotate it on the actual sign. So if you want to put it upside down, you can, or you can put it like off to the side. Or you can put it right side up if we can get it here. Let's actually use Q. Whoop. That was the wrong button. <laughs> Let's actually use Z. There we go. So there we go. We got the forge. And that sign is crooked, but that's good enough. If you want to see a normal sign, you can 
look there. But yeah, and people will start walking in once you actually open up the ride. We can move around the hammer swing here. So there we go, the forge is now open and people will move here fairly quickly and join on in with the ride. And I really like how these signs actually light up. They look really, really nice at night. And that's a key focus that they've had, is just making things look nice at night. Now if you look, people are not just moving, they're moving in and you know, waiting their turn and gradually moving just like you would in an average line because you look at how long the line is, there's no reason to be moving forward yet because you're just going to be moving up to there. You don't need to move very quickly. So here we can see people already moving on in. Which is super duper cool. So, overall, I think that this game is the absolute solution if you've been waiting for a roller to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 sequel. If you liked Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 or Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, this game might not be for you. There are actually three Roller Coaster Tycoon games. There's one that's called Park Something, there's Roller Coaster Tycoon World, and then there's also Planet Coaster. I personally would recommend Planet Coaster. It's currently only $30 over at the Planet Coaster official site. Apparently that will be going up, I'm assuming, to either $40 or $50. The early access is actually fairly expensive for this game. It's currently $75, which is a lot. And part of that's because it is kind of a Kickstarter type mentality that they have, so they have fairly high uh, reward tiers. Um, I chose to pay that much for the early access just to see uh, what this game was all about. I've heard a lot of good things about it from a variety of people. And I love Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, and so I figured I'd check it out. And it lived up to everything they said that it did, and it's only in early alpha still. This is the first build of alpha, and it is already has a lot of the key features that are missing from Roller Coaster Tycoon World. So it's very, very cool. Um, one other thing that you can do is you can actually copy buildings. Uh, if you notice, this is the same restroom from over at the other place, and you can actually over here and hit duplicate and then you can place it down in a new location and I press the wrong button again so if we rotate here and it will only place one path which is kind of annoying so you do have to place the other path but there you go you can actually take the buildings and put them right over. And I'm actually going to delete this one just because we don't need two restrooms right next to each other. And let's get rid of the path. Currently the delete tool is not in the game. Reminder, this is still alpha. You can, you know, delete stuff, but you can't do mass delete like you could, uh, like you can normally in most games. So anyway, if you have any questions or anything you would like me to show about, this game, Planet Coaster, let me know in the comments below. But that gives you a pretty good overview of what this game is all about. I will be doing more videos in later alphas, and also I will be showing off the coaster building and building design in a bit more depth in other videos as well. So be on the lookout for that if you are interested. So anyway, thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you again real soon for more content. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button below, and if you'd like to see more of my daily content, feel free to subscribe, and you'll be notified when that new content comes out. And also, if you'd like to help support my channel, and help me continue to create high quality videos, feel free to support me on Patreon, and you can get all sorts of great rewards in the process. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another video.